This has been a great opportunity for my company to be able to explore the Indian jewelry market. I actually have been uh, traveling to India more than 25 years because I am one of the major color stone and diamond dealer in Turkey. And now we have started dealing with franchises. We started doing our own merchandises in Turkey. We have more than 230 franchises in uh, Turkey and around Turkey. Okay. Well, uh, I have been observing the market last 35 years. When I started the business in uh, 88, one kilogram of gold mm -hmm. was around $8,000. <laughs> All right. And today, um, $2,300. One kilogram gold in Istanbul is like $75,000. Oh, okay. Well, <clears throat> I mean, even if you don't do any business, you could be a, a billionaire and millionaire mm -hmm. and everything. Just with the kind of inventory that you are sitting on. Exactly. Uh, yeah. But actually, we are businessmen, mm. so we have to keep turning it on. Yes. And this is making uh, our life a little more difficult because it is becoming an investment item mm. and as well as it is becoming a decoration item. And that's why uh, it is making our job a little difficult. Okay. But if it was easy, everybody could do it. <laughs> well, yeah, that is very well said, Adiz. But tell us, are, 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 are people are still buying, I'm assuming, but has their ticket size gone down? Well, actually, um, it might have gone down, especially drastically uh, when we hit the pandemic. Mm. Because it was, we were locked in, and uh, our factories didn't work, our people didn't want to consume anything in the beginning. Right. But the consumption is has started uh, rapidly after then that. Maybe the numbers have gone down, but uh, I think the cons consumption is still there okay. because we are created uh, with this nature. Mm. We want to buy new things. And maybe our habits have been changing, mm. uh, but we still like to buy. We like to, for example, maybe my mother's time or, or her mother's time, the investment uh, attitude was different. Right. And now it is a little bit different. They were investing on things and buying it for 30 year, 50 year, mm -hmm. to, from ancestors to today. Mm -hmm. But today's generation- uh, Wants instant gratitude. They exactly. want immediate returns. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks so, to Instagram, Facebook and all. <laughs> all of those things that is. But tell us what are people buying right now? I mean, we do know that uh, jewelry of all kinds seems to be doing well. The bridal and the everyday wear. So what is, what is it that you're looking at in Turkey that seems to be doing well? Well, actually, um, we are seeing, we have been observing that recently, the last few years, uh, color stones are uh, okay. really popular. And um, it is also a good item for us to be able to make little money still. Mm. And uh, we mostly try to invent new designs, mm. uh, more reachable items. Uh, instead of more investment and expensive items, we like to um, spend our time and energy on more reachable items, which people can easily reach and change as well. Mm. Um, as you said, the precious stones seem to be doing quite well, the color stones as well. Uh, you know, Eddie, this is a question we're asking everybody nowadays. And what's your sense on where are the gold prices going from you? Well, actually, uh, I think even the uh, Turkish uh, um, Minister of Finance doesn't know that, so it is a little <laughs> difficult for me to answer this, but uh, I could put it this way. Um, whatever extra money I have, I put on gold. Okay. Uh, well, this is like a, a, a hidden harbor mm. for the good investment. I mean, um, obviously, we are not happy with what is happening uh, around the world, all these wars, conflicts, and all this stuff. But uh, gold is always a, is a good harbor to be able to keep the investments. But it is, and since it is limited in the world, so uh, we, we always have to keep it as a good investment uh, element.